24 inch wheels and 12 inches of travel. That's 300 millimeters. Not something you see every day, is it? I've actually never ridden 24 inch wheels in my entire life, so they're totally foreign to me. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. Looking back, I grew up on an old BMX until I got my first mountain bike, which was a 26 inch hardtail. I realize I've never been on 24 inch wheels yet, so why would I try them now? Well, on my big Franken bike here called the Boost Monster, you can see it's raised up really high with the old school Super Monster fork and the bigger rear shock. One way I can compensate that is with smaller wheels. And you know, dirt bikes have smaller wheels too, so maybe it's not such a bad idea. Plus, there were some old school mountain bikes with a 24 inch rear and a 26 inch front. And Josh Bender did ride some 24s on his old school Super Monster Huck bikes. Because when you're just hucking off cliffs, you don't need bigger wheels at all. 24 inch wheels are just stronger anyways. I can see most of his bikes were the 26 inch front and a 24 inch rear. And the guys in Ukraine that inspired me to do this whole build with this 05 Narco A-Line frame love their 24 inch wheels as well. They recommended I should try it. so. Finally, I'm trying it. So here's the wheel set I have. I bought this front wheel with an old school three inch wide Duro tire. I'm not sure what to think of this tire since it doesn't seem as soft as I would prefer. It's a Sunringle single track rim laced to a modern Saint hub. The rear wheel here is an old intense Meg 30. I got that laced to an old school Saint hub as well. But this hub uses a bigger center lock style which can only fit the old school rotors with it. So I've got a nice old school 24 inch rear wheel build pretty stoked but for the tire I'm putting a new Minion DHF Max Grip 2.4 so at least I know this tire should be reliable the whole bike is lowered by one inch or 25 millimeters but I also added about two to three pounds because of these old school heavy wheels will the lower center of gravity help make this bike ride a lot better or will the small wheel diameter slow me down and screw me over on the trails making it harder to ride I want to find out we're going on a trip to Whistler, and I want to do some sick riding. I want to get a healthy dose of a variety of trails to really see how this feels. I did like motorbike wheels. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think it looks pretty sick with these wheels, though. Yeah. It's like more proportional looking. All right. Oh, it actually works. Oh, sick. Check. It's just on like the side of the thing. Oh, that's right. It also happens to be Crankworks right now. That means big crowds and events going on. It's always a fun time out here at Crankworks. It also means the conditions are getting a bit dustier and drier. All right. First time trying the 24 inch wheels here. Still got to embed in my brakes a little bit though. Sick berms. Just getting some warm up on this bike. Whoa, okay. That was awkward. How's that front tire? <laughs> I don't know. Hard to say still. I have uh, 30 PSI in the front, I think 33 in the rear. Yeah, and also what would happen, at least the last time, I was hitting my rim a few times. Oh, right. Just feeling it out. Yeah, I'm really curious if I'm gonna like this front tire much because I don't know. I really don't know. So the whole thing is like, I want as much traction as I can, but here I put like 30 PSI in the uh, front tire and I don't know, hopefully I can get away with less, but still. Whew. All right, 28 PSI in the front. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Try Tatiana, we got some skinnies. That's pretty sick, look at that. That's so cool, I love that. Tatiana was open just last year, but they made a few changes here and it's running really well. Still really fresh and organic. It's a really sweet little trail. Dude, look at all this. I love it. Let the dust settle a bit here. Let's do a straight line there. <laughs> Right. Oh, going for the low side there. Let's see here. Look at all this. Haha. <laughs> 
So cool. Right on, dude. That was sick. Let's uh, finish off on some A-line. Whoa. Okay, I slipped. That was not fun. What do you guys think if I put a super monster on one of your bikes? <laughs> or put that fork on my bike? See, so I want to try more tech with this bike and the upper part of the mountain up the garbanzo chair has some really sick tech we're gonna test this on all right <sighs> dump on us let's freaking uh <laughs> hit original sin and yeah, while well, it's raining original sin here is where i started to feel more of the shortcomings of these little wheels Whoa. <laughs> okay that was sketch still not sure what i think about these tires Okay, that was not good. Oh, Are you good? Man, that was sketch. I was almost wiping out. I don't know if I like these wheels, man. Two small wheels. Not the same traction. I'm gonna try a little bit lower pressure. And like the front tire, I just don't think it's giving me a good grip. Even the rear tire, like it's a max grip minion, but like 24 inches. Yeah. 31 PSI rear, 27 front now. I was kind of hoping that with the extra suspension that it could help with traction, but these 24 inch wheels are just too small. That feels good. Wrote all this on the 26 inch and I think it was better like that. Frick. Oh, frick. Felt harsh. Even then, it's not the greatest landing. Like, he's no, still landing on some rocks. <laughs> oh, man. How was that? Good. That was sick. Well, I don't think I like these wheels, <laughs> honestly. I don't want to ride off these wheels too quickly though. This is only my second run and I'm mostly just riding techie trails, which as you can imagine, won't roll the same with such small wheels. 24 inch wheels are definitely gonna feel all those rocks and roots and holes a lot more. I still haven't ridden much flow Whoa. trails yet, so I'm looking okay. forward to what that's gonna be like. Getting so rowdy. I'm a little bit worried that I took too much air out of my tires. <sighs> Honestly, I have so much less confidence on those corners. So much less confidence on this flat, wooden, That was weird. I thought I saved it and then I didn't. Oh, here's more duff. Okay. I don't think I've ever ridden more duff before and I'm glad I checked it out. It's a pretty sweet trail and it was working at least a bit better on these wheels. Well, I definitely have more grip on this kind of stuff compared to the uh, smooth rock.
worked in 24 inch wheels. What am I ever doing? Oh, sick. Good one, eh? That was good. Nice one, I had a lot more grip on that compared to uh, Duffman with all the rock. Oh, I just do not have the grip with this bike. Dude, I do not have any freaking grip. Frick. So the single black tech trails weren't feeling the best on the setup, but A-Line might be a lot different. In fact, I expect it will be. Sick. I think the flow is gonna be what this 24 inch wheel set is kind of made for. I can tell the, uh, the hardest gear is not actually that hard with the small wheels. That was just awkward. It worked out, it's just, now I'm just dealing with a heavy bike. So the big jumps of A-Line were feeling the most at home on these wheels. Maybe that's what I have to stick to on the 24s. But Dirt Merchant is the next step up from A-Line. I wonder how this will feel. All right, boys and girls. We've tried Dirt Merchant on the 26 inches. Let's try it on, ouch, try it on the 24. All right, so far so good. Oh, oh Okay, that was bad. Okay, let's hope these 24 inch wheels will work on this. There we go. Nice. Send it. It's working pretty well. So this is actually surprising me that Dirt Merchant is working even better than A-Line was with this setup. Woohoo! <laughs> that might have been the best I rode that hip. Because the last half of it always required more pedaling just to clear them. And it wasn't taking any more effort with this bike at all, even with the smaller wheels. Dude, that was actually rolling sick. I was freaking clearing it all. But those bomb holes in that one burn, that was bad. <laughs> what? Okay. Cole just said it's running a bit slow. Let's do it. Let's see how we do on this step. Woohoo! Dude, that was mint. That was freaking so mint. <laughs> that was actually sick. Oh, dude, it's freaking rolling so much better. Yeah. Dude, that was sick. I did some of the jumps super well. Dude, and like this jump, is it just this year it's different or like I'm clearing this just fine now? It's running a lot faster. Like I actually felt sick on this bike, better than A-Line did. Yeah.
Those braking buttons are bad. <laughs> really sucky. Fifty-one pounds is not the same for trying to whip. That is going to take a lot of practice. Okay, I was having more fun that time. Are you Jordan Boostmaster? Yep. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, dude. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this bike a lot more now. I'm just riding it a lot better. Are those 24s? They are. 24 is a bit is a bit small. <laughs> Oh, we got sand. That's cool. Woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> Send it! Yeah! Sick. So good. I really thought at first that after these few runs that would be enough on the 24s and then I'd put back on the 26s but because I was really starting to get the hang of this so much and it was working really well on the flow I thought I gotta ride this more and experience these wheels to the fullest extent so I kept riding it for another day and I really started to understand what these wheels can do for me. Woohoo! Oh, sanding it. Right. I have to say, there were definitely hit or miss moments with this bike. You! <laughs> the bad moments typically involve techie trails that were too dry, where the small wheels just didn't give me good traction. The good moments pretty much were all related to flow and big jumps. Hook. 51 pounds. <laughs> so after all my riding on the 24 inch wheels, Dirt Merchant was definitely my favorite trail to ride on this setup. I could clear all the jumps, no problem. I even felt more confidence on this big hip. It's my wrong way, so I always felt a bit awkward on it, but I'm finally getting the hang of it. Woohoo! Yeah, I was sick. There we go. Why is Dirt Merchant so good on this bike? Keep it on 24 inch wheels. So funny. I was able to get my tables dialed in too. Nice. It just feels good on those jumps. It's really funny. The whip-offs here at Crankworks just happen to be going on right now, so I wanted to catch a bit of the action. I would love to be able to whip like those guys. Not really gonna happen while I'm on this 50-pound bike, though. Maybe it'll just take a lot of practice. Hey, I was hoping I would see you guys. Ryan, Yo, uh, <laughs> what's up? Uh, Chelsea again? Yo. Hey, Ryan. Hi, buddy. How are you? Yo, good. I was just uh, at camp, like a Woodward for a kid's summer camp. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Those kids were so excited that yeah. I knew you and oh, was well. with you before. <laughs> you know Jordan Boostmaster? Really? Master? Wow. They were so sick. Okay, it's just from the Costa Rica video then. <laughs> yeah. That's all they know. That's really <laughs> funny. Wow, that's hilarious. So they love program. you. Oh, that's so cool. Do it. Send it. All right. Let's I'm a bit sketchy on this bike, so we'll just see. Pulp Fiction. And this is where I can find some of the limits of these little wheels. And my freaking 24 inch wheels. Just follow these guys' lines. <laughs> oh, wow. I think so. Something happened. Something happened. I heard, I heard a funny noise back there. It was a really weird noise. I did the A-frame, uh -huh. and then it felt like like the chain got like super screwy, but everything's fine. Oh, sweet. 
I don't know. That was awkward. So I'm very happy to say the smaller wheels didn't slow me down on the flow. I really thought that could have been the case, but didn't seem to be. And I wonder if it has something to do with the weight of this bike with all that momentum. It was nice to have a bit of a lower center of gravity, but the wheels were heavier though. It added a good two pounds to my bike. Oh yes, nice and deep. A-Line was a lot of fun too, but Dirt Merchant just seemed better in my opinion. I'm actually gonna upload a full uncut A-Line run of this setup on my raw channel, as well as a Dirt Merchant video on the 24 inch wheels as well. I've actually been fairly active on my second channel, so I encourage you to check it out. You might find some cool stuff that you'll like. All right. Sick boys. Well, since I was here for Crankworks for about five days, I took my 26 inch wheel set along as well as my Rocky Mountain Maiden. So I was just doing a lot of riding and I'm really glad I could get this experience on the 24 inch wheels. It was quite different. I have to say the flow trails were about the only thing I really liked on them. For anything techie, I much prefer the 26 inch wheel set and I even got some tire inserts for them so I can test those out. So I'm just gonna install the 26 inch wheels back on here, do some more riding, see how much better the bike feels and I'm really loving that you guys are enjoying these videos. You may or may not have seen last week's video where I tested this bike against my Rocky Mountain Maiden. 300 millimeters versus 200 millimeters of travel. Make sure you check that video out. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like. You can consider supporting me with a one-time donation with super thanks, or I'm also on Patreon, and there you get extended and early cuts of almost all my videos. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.